Hey beautiful souls, welcome to your April monthly reading and what a month we have in store. Woohoo! <laughs> we just entered the fiery new birth energy of Aries toward the end of March and this month it feels like we're jumping out of the frying pan and into the cleansing, renewing fires. Uh, first, we have eclipse season in full bloom. And normally, we can feel the impact of the eclipses up to eight weeks before and after they happen, so we're probably most definitely feeling this right now. Uh, eclipses tend to wake us up to deeper understanding of our lessons, our purpose, and our destiny, and they can also bring sudden changes. Uh, we have the new moon solar eclipse in Aries on April 19th, which brings in that Mars energy of new beginnings and new chapters. And with the sun moving into Taurus the next day on April 20th, that will bring some at least stabilizing Earth energy in for us as we go through the eclipses. So not all hope is lost. <laughs> uh, and then we have the full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio on May 5th, which is also co-ruled by Mars and Pluto. So plenty of Mars energy coming in this month for sure. Uh, and this full moon will demand our attention, bringing with it, uh, you know, harvest and, and endings with that Scorpio energy. And then the Pluto energy coming in voices strongly to us, change or die. It is the, you know, bringer of change uh, and it wants us to evolve and move things. And if that weren't enough in our reflection for April, we also get to have the energy tide of a Mercury retrograde coming in. That'll keep us on shore to have us reflect upon things and kind of mend our nets before setting sail again. Uh, we enter the pre-shadow on April 7th, so we can start to feel things slow and get staticky in regards to communication around that time. And then we go full-blown retrograde on April 21st. So April 19th, we have that, you know, the uh, new moon solar eclipse. April 20th, we go into the sun moves into Taurus. April 21st, Mercury goes into full retrograde uh, until May 14th. And then we enter the post-shadow period, May 15th, and go fully direct again in Mercury on June 2nd. So during that May 15th to June 2nd, we'll ha have a, like a bit of reflection time during that post-shadow. And I think we're going to need it, uh, which will be good. So I'll have individual pick a card readings on each of those big astral events as we get closer to them. But for now, buckle up, Buttercup. We're going for a wonderful deep dive ride in April with some twists and some turns, some endings and beginnings that will bring us some great clarity around our lessons, our life purpose and our destiny. So for this monthly reading, we'll be asking spirit, help! <laughs> and in addition to that, we'll also ask them what they can tell us to prepare us for this crazy hall of mirrors. There is a reading for each individual zodiac sign and we're jumping into yours right now. All right, Aquarius, this is your monthly reading for the month of April. And if you're new to my channel, what I do each month is I take a tarot deck and I split out the major arcana from the four suits of the minor arcana. And the major arcana represent their overall energy for the month. Um, and we'll talk about the minor arcana when I get there. And all the cards that I use in a reading, by the way, I do list in the description box of the video down below. So if any of them catch your fancy, any one of them for yourself, you know where you can pick those up. Uh, the tarot deck that I'm using this month is the Ravenous Dracon Tarot. I really like it. Um, and so we'll start off here and see the overall energy. What does spirit and creator want you to know? What kind of heads up can they give you for this uh, wonderful reflective time that we're going to have and uh, what area of your life as all these cards come flying out here um, no they don't want that one yet I was going to say is that what you want but nope they don't want that one yet so let's take a look here and see what does spirit want you to know all right so that is the card here 
and you have the devil card which is the shadow card now this does represent like our like saturn kind of challenging energy which is okay because uh saturn though you're going to have work to do and you're going to have some stuff to reflect upon during the month there is a reward that comes from it so um it's it's a little bit of work up front but when we do that it there's such a benefit there's like a win-win because what the saturn energy does it challenges our thoughts and our beliefs and our mindsets around things and it just rattles our cage to show us the cage that we're in it rattles the chains that are around our neck so that we realize there are chains there and there's no door on the cage the the chains are very loose around our necks where we can just take it off but uh, they bring it to us and not too subtle ways so with this eclipse energy it makes sense that there's going to be some major uh, things shown for us but it releases us uh, from it as well um, so I do like that um, energy coming in and like I said it it does free free us up and um, allows us to move forward uh, in whatever's been holding us back so uh, very Aquarian energy by the way I mean Aquarians are all about the old ways are not um, working anymore for the what the current ages are so you're right in alignment with that you're you'll jump right into the 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 um, process of uh, looking at what no longer works to get to get rid of it <laughs> so no problem there Aquarius it's right in your wheelhouse as they say we'll also pull from these blue Messiah reading cards and see what else they'd like you to know overall for the month this will be like the major arcana where it's the general energies that they're wanting for you Aquarius all right they do want this one right here and you have planetary shifts card number 22 master number 22 so definitely connecting to higher things here and here's this shifting of things right the shifting of beliefs and shifting of the old into the new and th uh, there's a quote here from Jimi Hendrix that says when the power of love overcomes the love of power the world will know peace and we are living in a transitioning world where there are many uncertainties. Time is speeding up and many people are sensing great shifts in Mother Earth's vibrational frequencies. This card serves as a guide to assist you through the changes within your energy body as Gaia moves through her own spiritual evolution, right? The age of Aquarius. <laughs> That's what we're entering into. That's really what this is speaking of. It's perfect. As the paradigms of the old world pass and the beginnings of the new world emerges, the clash between the planetary mind and heart can be felt. Resistance to move forward and merge with the peace and harmony of the heart can bring forth fear and controlling forces that create disharmony and the lure of illusionary distractions that target the mind. Dear one, just as Mother Earth makes her transitional journey into the heart, so do you move through these changes. If your mind is distracting you from moving forward with your heart, it is a time to make a choice, heart or mind. There will come a time when both your mind and heart will coexist and work together as one. However, to get there, one must first surrender it, enti it uh, in entirety to the inner stirrings of the heart. And when you follow your heart without the restraints of the mind, you align your energy with love that individually and collectively transform the world in unity and in peace. It's so perfect here. I mean, this the devil card is about our thoughts, our beliefs, and our mindsets. And so stepping out of our, our mind and into our heart is so perfect for all this. The uh, chakra that this deals with is the solar plexus and the heart chakra. And an exercise you can do is spend time in nature and connect to the heart of Mother Earth. By doing this, you will strengthen your connection to your own heart. Uh, the affirmation for this card is when I follow my heart, I am open, willing, and courageous in all that I do. 
perfect. <laughs> so there is this cutting away of these thoughts and these beliefs and these mindsets, nothing to fear. It is all this Aquarian energy of moving into the age of Aquarius with more loving, peaceful ways of looking at things. So, so much uh, right, right uh, with that Aquarian energy. Now, the four suits of the minor arcana where we'll look at next represent four different areas of the human experience. We'll start off with the suit of wands, which is the element of fire. And this represents your drive, your ambition, your passion, your inspiration, just your overall energy. So this will be what creator and spirit want you to know about your energetic experience during the month of April. So for Aquarius, right? I do want to give you this one here. And you have the Four of Wands. Yeah, so beautiful stabilizing energy here. A lot of joy, a lot of celebration that's happening. So there is this movement from what might f have felt like very imbalanced and erratic uh, energy into feeling much more calm, much more balanced. Things are, you know, coming into this um, instead of being so consumed in the mind, the balancing with the heart um, is really coming in here. I mean, two and two equals four. Um, so there's two on each side and this balancing energy is making itself known here, which I like. We're also gonna pull here from the Return of Spirit um, Oracle. See what else they want you to know about this uh, fiery, energetic adventure during the month of April. And um, I call these spiritual ink blot <laughs> test cards here because they are fractal imaging. And so whatever you see in the um, image is a special um, message to you, but then we'll also see what the author had intuited uh, from the card as well. Wow. <laughs> Well, you got frequency shift here, planetary shift, frequency shift. So obviously there is this energy shift that's coming in here. Let's put this over here and let's see what message this brings in. Well, very synchronistic. There we go. And it says you are about to experience a shift in your frequency and this card comes to help you prepare for the upcoming event. Being ready and knowing what to expect can help you get through the transitional period. Wow, just uh, so much of the same energy, right? A frequency shift occurs when the soul is ready for the next part of its journey. However, this does not mean that our human consciousness is necessarily ready. So the things that alter during this period can be difficult to endure, but you will make it through and be much better for it. Most often when this shift begins, we will experience uh, lower energies or feeling a needing to withdraw from the world. Usually there are events that take place just before this shift, which can cause a need to step back from the world. It is during this specific part of the transition that it feels difficult to relate to other people. Your path and purpose may feel as though they have vanished. You are left questioning everything you've done and worked toward up to this point in your life. The intuitive faculties may also take a hit. It may seem that your connection with spirit may have been completely severed and the guidance you once received goes silent. Basically, everything can get shut down, and this happens because your energetic engine is getting a complete overhaul, and it cannot be left running while it happens, right? But just know that once complete, your connection with spirit will be stronger than ever. And more than likely, you will also have a new team of guides working with you. So this is so you can bring through these higher energies in whatever work you do. You will be more focused on your purpose and doing the work of spirit more than ever before. And so, you know, we were talking about that. That's what this energy of the eclipses and everything is doing is really bringing you into this awareness of your 
your soul purpose, your life purpose, your destiny. And so there's this energetic shift that's it's kind of like an upgrade that you're going through. And I feel like you've been going through this and with especially with the four of wands, with all this balancing energy, I feel like it's now balancing. You kind of have felt out of whack, but now this energy is balancing and you're able to um, everything is coming online. There's no bugs, you know, in the system. It's just working so much more uh, clarity and so much more um, productively. So I like that. Uh, next, we're going to go into the element of um, Earth, which is the suit of pentacles. Now, this is the only suit that deals with the outside world. This is your inner energy. We'll talk about your thoughts and your emotions next. But the um, suit of pentacles is about all those other characters that are on stage in the physical world with you, all the props, including your own body. So this will be what creator and spirit want you to know about your physical adventure in the outside world for April. So what would you like? All right, I do want this one. And you have the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine is the Hermit's journey. You know, in the Major Arcana, the Nine um, is the Hermit. And it's about uh, go moving inward. The Nine of Pentacles is, uh, you have the Spirit here with the, um, this always has, usually has a bird of some sort. And that represents Spirit. You're in the garden together, but you're alone. You're not looking to the outside world to complete you, to make you feel whole and complete. You're finding your wholeness and your fullness from within on this inner journey, which makes sense. I really feel like with all of this going on, the shadow card and these shifts and all this stuff, well, it's kind of like you're in a, you know, a surgical room that has to be blocked off from everyone else and you're finding and you're being um, worked on by a talented, skilled professionals, which is spirit, uh, and they're helping you with your worth and relationship to the outside world, this feeling of wholeness and fullness in your outside life. So I like that. We're also going to pull from the Earth Magic Oracle. Let's see what else spirit and creator want you to know. That's your physical adventure for April. So for Aquarius, what else? All right, I do want this one right here. And you have rain, the purification. I even think one of these talked about the purification of your of your energies. So definitely this um, this beautiful clearing away of things uh, is is definitely making itself known here for this process too. And uh, I think it might have been in my intro too. I think we talked about the purification, the the changing of things. So it says no matter whether it's a light shower or a deluge, rain cleanses and purifies. The moisture that has evaporated from the various bodies of water on the planet and was drawn into the atmosphere now returns to the earth as liquid precipitation in nature's vast and comprehensive water recycling program. Depending on when and where the rain falls, it can come as a welcome relief or a nuisance. Even the air smells fresh after a good rain. It also brings in clean water, which provides needed sustenance for plants, animals, and humans. At its most intense, rainstorms arrive as an avalanche of water, often accompanied by great and powerful winds with considerable flooding and destruction as an unfortunate consequence of nature's impersonal balancing act. So balance, what is purged makes way for new life to appear. <laughs> I love it. It says purifying your mind, your body, and your spirit is the task that is put before you. Purify your mind by identifying a prominent belief you carry about yourself that inhibits you from being fully engaged in life, from showing up 100% of the time. Purify your heart by allowing yourself to breathe in and out blessings and forgiveness so that you can love even more deeply. We're talking about out of the mind and into the heart, right? Let yourself feel your grief, truly feel it, so that the rivers of your, te of your tears become miniature baptisms that help heal the wounds in your soul. If necessary, detoxify your body, the temple and seat of the soul, 
by changing your diet, doing a cleanse for a few days, or simply drinking more water. Increasing the daily amounts of water you drink with deep appreciation for its purpose will revitalize your spirit. It's no wonder that in some indigenous languages, water is called lifeblood, as it is so essential to every form of life on earth. Take time to purify yourself. I like it. You know, really it steps into here talking about this, this cleansing, this shifting, this transformation that's happening. You know, water represents, which is where we're headed to um, uh, last um, around uh, you know, emotion, balancing the heart, the necessary of flooding of emotion to come in to help um, with the shift out of the mind and into the heart, right? Um, and we're going into your suit right now with the air element. So we'll definitely take a look here. You know, this is the uh, suit of swords, which is your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. So this will be what Creator and Spirit want you to know about your mental adventure, in addition to what we've already heard uh, for the month of April. So what else for Aquarius with their mental adventure? Okay, that's the card here. And you have the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so new thought, new belief, new mindset. Uh, the Ace of Swords also, you know, connecting to the capital T truth of the higher realm, that which is rooted in unconditional love, cutting away the thoughts and beliefs and mindsets of the fears of losing conditional love of the human world. So like this talked about, cutting away getting rid of the stuff, those thoughts and beliefs that have been restricting you, not allowing you to move forward and be who you are. And it's an important step here, um, and you're given the tool to do it. So I love that. And then you also have the numerology guidance cards, and we'll see what else I would like you to know around your mental adventure for April. So what else for Aquarius? All right, you do get two. Imagine that the big thinkers, some of the big thinkers here as I destroy our little setup here. And your first one is karmic completion, number 10. So the letting go of old cycles and beginning of new things. I like that. And then you also have music, card number 32. So put that here for now. And this, let's take a look here. Number 10 first. So this card does indicate the end of a karmic lesson or a cycle where you've successfully cleared a contract or a debt from your past. So this could refer to a challenging situation you've recently conquered in your life or a troubling experience with an individual that involved a great deal of effort or pain. Even though there are ongoing lessons to confront throughout the course of your life, you will never have to experience this particular lesson again. This card also represents the wheel of fortune where whatever goes up must come down. Just as the tides are constantly ebbing and flowing, you're being encouraged to adapt to both the highs and lows in your life. For it is in your ability to adapt that you will make your dreams come true. By stating, this too shall pass in the face of each and every experience, you will remain centered and grounded and stable. So, you know, here's that st stabilizing energy, the balancing of the ebbs and flows and understanding that with this ending and this stuff that's being moved out, there's beautiful things coming in to replace it. I like that. And then let's take a look here at music which does talk about frequency, right? So the frequency at what we listen to, what we allow into our energy field is what impacts us, right? The music that we allow to come in impacts the music that we put out as well. And this card indicates a need to listen to music you enjoy in order to improve your health, your well-being, and your overall quality of life. Playing, singing, composing, or listening to beautiful music that feel, fills your heart with joy automatically raises your vibration and enhances your connection to source. I love it. So because you attract what you feel in this magnetic vibrational world, when you consistently feel good, you can make your dreams come true. 
Music is the ultimate way to bring yourself into alignment because it only takes a few minutes to sing your favorite song in the shower rather than worry about your day. Listen to inspirational music while driving rather than stress about the traffic. Or play your favorite CD while doing housework rather than fret about the mess. <laughs> In order to improve your current situation, you are being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to listen to music that you love. In, uh, it truly has the power to heal your body and your life. And when you fill your heart with music, you can manifest your dreams. The affirmation for this card is the healing power of music brings me closer to my dreams. Both of these, I believe, talked about stepping forward toward your dream, which I really like. All right, and then we do move into the final suit of cups, which is the element of water, which we've talked about a lot. Uh, and so this represents your emotions and what uh, creator and spirit want you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of uh, April. So for Aquarius, what would you like them to know? You already know it's an important thing here of connecting with your heart, All right? This is the one. And yeah, you have the nine of cups. So uh, another nine, the inner journey that you're on here, turning inward to find the unconditional love, the chalice, the holy grail. So you do find this within your own heart. They're turning you inward and upward to connect with this beautiful love from above. So uh, I really feel like you been like in hermit mode or you're about to go into it for sure to have all of this unfold for all this connection inward and upward um, is definitely represented here with this nine of cups and the nine of pentacles but everything else just uh, kind of screams being brought into uh, an environment where you feel safe to open up your heart like you don't do open heart surgery in the middle of a crowded park you do it in a, a special room in a hospital that you know has been a clean and it's a, a you know one of those clean rooms where uh, there's nothing in there that can harm you while your heart is w wide open and that's what i feel is going on here with you and then the last card we'll pull for this reading for you is from the journey of love oracle and uh, it can still be what else they want you to know about your emotional adventure during the month of April. But because it's a last card for this reading, it's also going to be a wild card. Whatever else the Creator and Spirit want you to know about this adventure or just the month of April. So let's take a look. What's your final message here for this reading for Aquarius, please? All right. I do want that one right here. And do you have Ethereal Touch? Card number 27, seven plus two is nine. So another nine energy coming in here. And let's take a look and see what this brings for you. So spirit is present in your very touch at this time and you're having an impact on the world around you, particularly your close relationships in ways that are far more profound than may be immediately obvious. The touch of your soul is ethereal, spiritual, of light and sound. It moves the heart and opens pathways of possibility through love, faith, and trust that would otherwise be impossible to access. Trust in the presence of the divine in your touch, physical and spiritual. Your healing presence is making waves of love rise and stir in this world, and the divine lives and breathes through you, beloved. Remember that though the sacred temple of your body gives you, um, sorry, gifts you with hands through which to hold and to give, it is the soul within the flesh that renders touch a sacred healing. And this oracle guides you to accept and embrace your healing abilities and to trust that you can feel your way through life by opening your hands to receive and taking hold of the opportunities that are presented to you. You are meant to touch the world with your spirit. Wow. 
what a boom to end on there and definitely this all talks about the shift of your energy this upgrade this movement um, here for you so whether it's through music or however your vibration whatever you're you're transmuting you're transforming energies your very presence around people is what just touches people and you don't even realize it you don't have to do really anything besides just uh, you know uh, have the your frequency here the shift that you're going through um, just give it all you've got right you are just upgrading and the frequency is what it is and it's like music to other people's soul that you're around and it transforms things but i definitely love that you're getting in tune here with even more so into your life purpose and your destiny um, with all of this coming through. So I'm excited to see what you do with this Aquarius. Now, if you are enjoying this content and you want to be notified of when more of it comes out, a couple of things you can do. First, if you give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button, it does tell the YouTube algorithm that you are enjoying these and it just helps spread the videos to other people as well. It also tells me that you're enjoying the content and, and um, I will continue to do it as long as people are enjoying it and it's bringing you value. Also, you can give um, click the subscribe button, which gives you access to the notification bell. And when you go in there, there is an option for all, which if you select that, two things happen. One, you will be notified right away as soon as I post new content. Also, you are notified when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. Um, I do right now Wednesday through Sunday nights at 7 p.m. Mountain Time and Friday, Saturday and Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. Uh, in addition to all of that, you know, if you like the videos and share them, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel, doing all those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy, crazy, happy, excited. It wants to automatically share my videos as recommended videos to other people. So if you feel inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful for that. And these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information and answers for your specific life, I do currently offer personal readings. All that information is listed in the description box of the video down below with pricing and how you can book it if that interests you. All right, beautiful Aquarians, as you go through this wonderful adventure and this wonderful frequency shift in the month of April, please know that every second of every day of your life that you are unconditionally loved by the mother and the father of all things. And of course, I love you too. Have an amazing adventure. We'll be talking soon, I'm sure. In the meantime, you hang in there and you take care.